Hey everyone, and today we're going to be doing that salt PSAT question everyone's been talking about. The, the, the big scary one, everyone's all like, oh, I thought I was good at math, but it turns out I suck because I can't solve a question about salt, so we're going to be solving it today. There's a lot of them, they all just use different numbers, and my throat is sore. So let's, I'm going to make this a little fast. How many liters of a 75% saline solution must be added to a ten, to 10 liters of a 10% saline solution to obtain a 25% saline solution? What are we actually doing here? Spoiler alert, it's just a system of equations. It's just worded a little, little scary. So, what do we know? We know that 10% of 10 liters, because remember, we have 10 liters of a 10% salt solution, and so, how many liters of that solution is just salt? We take 10% of 10, or we'll do 0.1 times 10, that's equal to 1. So we have 1 liter of just salt. Wow, this is hard. Oh, good job. Okay, so 1 liter is just salt. Now, we don't know how many liters we're going to have at the end, so calculating how many liters to find how much of it is salt is going to be worthless. Instead, I'm going to show you guys two things. A table, and then deriving the equation from the table. So let's do that. Big, big, scary looking table. It's going to be one side, it's going to be our liters, the other side is going to be how many of those liters is just pure salt. So we start off with 10 liters, meaning we have 1 liter of salt. We add 1 liter, so we now have 11. That's 1.75 liters of salt. And we keep going, 12 to 2.5, 13 to 3.25, to <coughs> and 14 to 4. Now, what we do is we find out how many of these, or rather, the per what percentage of this is salt. In order to do that, we use a pretty simple equation that I don't have on hand, but essentially you kind of kind of cross multiply. So, let's see if I remember. I think it's, let's try x over Let's do 1.75, and then we'll say equals 100 over uh, 11. So we cross multiply, we get 11x equal to 175. Therefore, x is equal to. Let's break out the calculator, and we do 175 divided by 11. We get that number. So, uh, 15.909. Is that what it is? Yeah, 909 repeating. So that is the percent that is salt, meaning 1.75 liters of the 11 liter solution is salt, or about 15.909%. Now you do that for all these values, and you'll get, we'll just do 13 because that's the answer. So we have x over... 3.25. This is equal to 100 over 13. Cross multiply, we get 13x equals 325. Therefore, x equals 325 divided by 13. We get 25. Yay, we did it. Oh, 25%. Therefore, or, oh, whoops. Yeah, x equals 25, meaning since this is 13 and we started with 10, do uh, 13 minus 10. This equals 3. That's our answer. We would have to add 3 liters of a 75% salt solution to get a 25% salt solution. Now, that's all fine and dandy and cool and stuff, but might be asking what happens if our answer is not an integer what if you require half a liter I am so glad you asked so we're gonna derive an equation to 
find it for any amount, regardless of whether you add pi liters or e liters or even like uh, tau liters, what, whatever it is, you can find it for any number because this function is continuous. So how do we do that? Well, let's look at our table. What are we doing? Right, if this is, let's say, L, capital L for liters, this side here is just how m much of those liters is salt. So uh, let that, uh, I'll figure out a variable later. Essentially, I'm going to start off with x here. Let x equal the number of liters, number of liters of the 75% salt solution. I'm going to say sol for solution, sol added. So x is the number of liters of the 75% salt solution that we're actually adding. What that means is in order to find x, we want to or rather, finding x means we're finding how many liters of that solution we're adding, which is what the problem is asking. So if we look at one side of this table, right, let's look at the liter side. x, we're adding x to our base number of 10. So on one side of this equal sign, we're going to have 10, oh, whoops, give myself some more space. We're going to have 10 plus x, because we start off with 10 liters, we're adding some x number of liters to 10, but simultaneously, we're looking for a 25% salt solution, meaning what we should really be doing is multiplying this by 0.25. I don't have enough space, I'm just going to write 1 fourth. We should be multiplying this whole thing by 1 fourth because we want 25% of the total new solution to be salt. And on the other side of the equation, what we're doing is we're starting with our initial amount of 1 liter of just salt. So we have 1 and then we're adding that 75% of the new solution that we're adding is salt. So we're going to have uh, 3 fourths x. And if you guys want a proof, we can just solve it. So we get 3 fourths x. And then I'm going to uh, so let's simplify this. 10 over 4 is uh, 2.5 plus uh, 1 fourth x. Uh, 1 minus 2.5 is uh, 1.5 plus 1 fourth x. We subtract the x on both sides, or the 1 fourth x. We get 2 fourths x. It will be 1.5. Multiply by 4 on both sides, we get 2x equals 6. Therefore, x equals 3. We're still there. This equation works. So, if this is what we want for this specific solution, whenever you take the PSAT, you're probably asking, oh, what do I do if the numbers aren't the same? So I'm going to generalize it for you guys. Let, uh, let's say, our coefficient of our first x here, we can call that a. a is going to be the percent of the new solution you're adding. So what percent of that new solution is salt? That's a. So we have ax plus C for constant. Uh, this C is going to be how many liters of salt you start off with. So if it was you had 3 liters and 10% of that is salt, then you would have 0.3 for C. This is then equal to, uh, say, B for how much of that new solution, new total solution, you want to be salt. Since in this one we want we wanted a 25% salt solution after we added the 75% salt solution. That's going to be our B. And inside the parentheses, we're going to have X again, because X is just the number of liters of the new solution you're adding, and L, which is your initial amount of liters. This is your generalized equation for all your PSAD taking needs. I hope this was helpful. My throat's kind of sore, so I rushed this. Thank you for watching.